beloved brothers and sisters, hearts of my heart, loves of my love, fish of my fish. Beloved, there is nothing that exists in everything that you say that you are not. You are these questions. You are these messages from spirit. This is this uh, process of, one moment please. This is the process of an aspect of you attempting to communicate with another aspect of you. This is the way that you each have laid out a trail of breadcrumbs to bring you back to the home that you have never left. My beloved spoke of it this morning with the lesson. You have never left your homes. You have merely decided to focus myopically, if you will, on a pinpoint of consciousness that you call this human existence. But when you come to allow yourself to remember that you are home where you have never left, you've never left the kingdom, beloved. These dimensions, these shapes, these forms, these aliens, there's nothing that is alien to you. These objects, the cat, the mice, the fish, cars, the planes, the homes, the buildings, everything, all of it is you. All of it is love. All of it is God. You are the Godfish. You are the Jillfish and the Deborah fish and the Banky fish and the Kevin fish and the dog fish and the Willem fish, Rosa Maria fish and the Gabriella fish and the Kim fish. And you think that you are all so different from one another. You all taste like fish. You all taste like God. You all taste like love. Everything is like everything else. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like beef. What is to taste? Think of what is to taste. To come to know the essence of something. When you taste it, you smell it. You savor it. This is what is done with love, beloveds. Allow yourself to taste God. Taste God within you. Smell God within you. Feel God within you. Feel love within you. And here you come into this place of self-mastery, of knowing every aspect of self, every aspect of love. Look for love in every circumstance. Look for love in the fish, Look for love in the cat and the mouse that the cat brings. Look for love in your beloveds. Look for love in those you have considered to be your enemies. Look for love in those you find hard to forgive. Look for love within and you will find it. Look for love in every word that you speak, in every thought that you think, every action that you take. Speak with loving words, think with loving thoughts. And when you lay your hands upon yourself or another, do so with the touch of love. Connection, beloved. And in that moment of connection, There only ever has been and there only ever will be love in all that you do. Reach out to me and allow me to speak to you and, and you will know love, the love that you have. And you have criticism of them. You if you come to realize that there is no mother, there is no 
There is only you. you. There is of you. The love that you are. The beauty that you are. The majesty that you are. And every time that you say, I was a victim in this circumstance. My mother was critical. My father was abusive. He did not love me. And therefore I am wounded. I am a victim of my circumstances. You have forgotten love. But love has forgotten no one. So today is the day to remember. Today is the day to love. In every conversation that you have, in everything you think. Beloved Tempra, beloved sister, beginning to do the lessons with eyes anew and hearts afresh with everything that you have studied with this journey that you've been upon is a brilliant idea. This journey for each of you, beginning the lessons anew, coming to them with hearts and minds that have been cleared of so much of the debris would truly be transformational for all of you. Allow your hearts to be open to the truth, always. And the truth of you is that every instant of connection, every instant of communication is an expression of love in all of its varying degrees until you come to the recognition and to the remembrance that only love is real. And you come to see that everything is made of love. It is like an experience in the matrix. We enjoyed this movie. It is much like that. In fact, it is exactly like that, beloved. What you see in films are aspects of reality. Reality that you have created within the unconscious and the subconscious aspects of your mind. Know that you take me with you on every journey. Know that you bring me into every conversation. I am listening. And I am watching and I am with you. And I am speaking with you. And sometimes it is whispering. And sometimes it sounds like shouting. But know that I am with you always, beloveds, as you are with me. I love you from the depth of my beingness. I love you as God loves you. And this is all that I ask of you. To love as God loves to love yourself as God loves you. But when God created the Christ of beingness, it was a duplication effort in order to experience Godhood, God's self. So allow yourself to be and to know that only love is real. God is with you, I am with you, and we are one and the same. and have fun in your journey. Let joy guide the way. Ask yourselves, how could I see this circumstance, this person, this belief differently? How can I bring love to this differently? And be grateful as I am grateful for you always. Blessings to you, beloveds, and I will speak with you again as I always.